Hi, my name is Alejandro Sepulveda and this is Public Health with Ale. If you are already subscribed to my program, thank you so much for coming back and watching this new video. If you haven't already subscribed, remember to click on the little red button below and follow up on any upcoming content that I will bring to you. In today's video, we're going to be talking about my experience with the Anacostia Watershed Academy and we're going to talk a little bit more about what is a watershed as well as dive a little deeper into my local watershed, which is the Cameron Run watershed. So let's get into it. To start with, I would say that my experience with the Watershed Academy hosted by the Anacostia Watershed Society has been a great experience. I have learned that I have a passion and interest for water um, through my master's in public health. I think I'm very keen and really leaning into those environmental topics and water has caught my attention um, from the very beginning of my program. And I found this opportunity online and I was like, I'm gonna do it. And basically we had sessions on Zoom, we had some uh, in-person sessions as well. So it's just the one that I share on my Instagram account. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and watch that. Um, it's the green infrastructure walking tour and we also have um, a boating tour around the Anacostia River and we have other in-person sessions as well but each of them builds up into the knowledge of what is our local watershed, how can we protect it, how um, different let's say factories and different things throughout history have affected the quality of our local water sources and really just learning how community members, professionals, students, all of us together, because the group is very diverse, um, can um, contribute to protect our local water resources that at the end of the day, even if you, let's say you don't really go to the river or that's not like your thing, either way, your water is being supplied by these local water resources, whether you live, let's say, um, in Miami, you have your local water resources there. If you live in other areas, um, I'm sure you're aware of what those are. But in our case, we have the Potomac River, the Anacostia River, um, the Chesapeake Bay, and we have to protect them because we're getting drinking water from them. We're getting our water for, you know, for us to take a shower and do all of these different things. And as you may imagine, water is essential when you're lacking of it. It's a huge, huge problem, um, but we're not gonna get into that right now. <laughs> this video will talk a little bit more about my local watershed, which is the Cameron Run. It's uh, located in Alexandria, Virginia. It's about 42 square miles, so it's pretty big. It covers a big area of the region. And I would also share a little bit more of what you can do where you live to protect your local water resources as a student, as a professional, as a community member, um, whatever your role in society is, or those hats that we all wear um, at once. So let's get started. So what is exactly a watershed? So a watershed is a giant natural funnel. Um, it's an area of land where all the water, whether it's rain, melt of snow, um, run up from the street, um, even sprinkles from your garden hose, anything, it flows into a common destination like a river, lake, or ocean. So just imagine that you're holding all this water here at the top of your hands and then it's sipping through, right? And that water is diverting into different areas. That is your watershed. So think of it as depending, sorry, not depending where you live, Anywhere you live, you're part of a watershed in some type, weight, shape, or form. Diving a little bit more into the Cameron Run watershed, again, it's located in Alexandria, Virginia, and it's home to a wide variety of animals, little uh, species, and it's also home to different hiking trails, biking trails, areas of recreation. Uh, there's water parks around, all of it you can imagine. But as I like to say, it's not just the fun and pretty part of the watershed. It's also the fact that it's 
a, a water supply to all of the residents in this area, to the local region, the DMV, uh, which is DC, Maryland, and Virginia area. And it's essential and vital that we protect the water quality um, of this source. Now, this video is a little short, but I wanted to share with you that you can find what is your watershed, um, depending where you live. Um, there's various resources. Again, I will make sure to link those in my document that I will make available for all of you. And it's as easy as putting your address or you can use your zip code. You can even look it up by um, county name to see what are the local watersheds around you and what are the initiatives that are being taken to protect this or what is the status of it um, as of right now. If you're thinking of, okay, well, you're giving me this information and I don't really know where to start, what to do, like I know nothing about water. I, again, will share with you a document full of resources for you to explore at your own time. But if you are a member of the community, set so you're a student, professional, uh, anything, right? You are probably thinking, well, I would always want to have clean water and consume clean water. I don't want to get sick from water or God forbid, one day you don't have water. And for that, we all have to contribute our little part and there's so many activities that could be done such as a cleanup event you could literally just go and clean up the watershed in your area or if you see trash around um you can go with a bag and pick it up um, i'm thinking also participate in educational programs i am not aware of any uh, programs outside of the dmb but I would definitely say do a quick Google search, water quality program, educational opportunities, maybe look into those um, nonprofits and other organizations that are focused on this um, issue. And I would even encourage you to look into your local government uh, websites, Instagram page and see if they have any office or any uh, comedy that is um, focus on this issue as it, it it is, again, it is an issue uh, for a lot of places in the United States and around the world that you could probably be part of, whether it's sitting on a um, community discussion board, maybe there's a focus group, maybe there are opportunities to um, volunteer. And again, nonprofits would also have many volunteering opportunities, uh, but I encourage you to look those up. Um, and I also think that if you're thinking, well, I don't have the time uh, or I might not always have the time to participate in volunteering, I might not always have the time to um, be as involved. I think it's really important to just educate yourself on what are the local water sources that you have on your area, whether that's a river, the sea, a bay, a lake, whatever it is, or a combination of all of those. and as well as raising awareness of what are the issues. So maybe there is a leak, a chemical leak into one of those uh, water sources. Maybe there needs to be a cleanup at your local beach, maybe uh, whatever it is. I think it's really important that we are all aware what are those issues surrounding our water sources as again, we all consume this water and at the end of the day we all want it to be clean for everybody and we want to have access to it most importantly lastly in this video i encourage you to look at the different um, instagram posts and reels that i have made about my experience with the watershed academy you might probably find a little more specific sources there and um, pictures of how it went, a little bit more of information in terms of how climate change impacts our water sources and how trash impacts our water sources and what you can do to reduce these effects. And I would also encourage you again to look at those local nonprofits, local agencies and local groups that maybe it's not even an organization, maybe it's just a group of people in your local neighborhood that are worried about these issues and talk to them. Maybe 
you can contribute with again a volunteering opportunity and or brainstorm any other ideas and remember your skills maybe as a student you know about data and this is something that you could probably take up as a project um, if you are a professional that knows of anything relating to water and environmental issues again you could be part of this and you can encourage encourage other people as well to join if you would like to learn more uh, please again go onto my instagram i would link that document for you all to explore there's everything from definitions of what is a watershed some videos explaining as well visually what does a watershed look like um, and I also link some um, resources to explore what is your local watershed as well as some organizations that are nationwide um, trying to protect their water sources. Thank you so much and I will see you on the next one.